All right, I just put a new three-way switch in and for some reason, it doesn't work sometimes, but it does work other times. Why is this happening? All right, so I had a really good question asked to me. This actually happens quite a bit if you're out in, uh, you know, like putting new devices into a home and you guys are just kind of ripping through and somewhere along the line, somebody miswired one of the switches. So it's kind of indicative. Usually if you have a three-way setup where like one side doesn't work, the other side will. So you'll just flip it into the other position that changes the nature of power being sent over to this one and now this one will work. But the problem might not be on this hot side uh, I have my incoming hot, then I have travelers, and then I have a switch leg that goes up there. So hot side is incoming hot, switch leg side is the leg side that goes up to the light. So if you have some of the conductors on the leg side switched, normally you're just gonna notice a problem with the one light source or like the group of lights that you're working on. A lot of times on the hot side, if there's a problem, you'll notice when you switch something on, an entire room will switch on or like multiple rooms might turn off or turn on. It kind of depends on the situation, not always, but a lot of times with the hot, sometimes somebody will have wire nutted something together and then now they're, instead of passing the hot through the box, they're using the device, mistakenly, they're hooking the hot up to the device so the connection for the rest of the circuit only happens once you flip the switch into a certain state, when you flip it back, it, there's no longer a connection through to the rest of the circuit. That's not only a hot side thing or only a leg side thing. I'm just saying a lot of the times when you realize that, when that's happening, when you see multiple rooms, I tend to just go to the hot side first because I know a lot of times they did something with the hots. And then on the leg side, a lot of times it's just this source. Again, there's 50 ways to wire stuff and that's not always the, the, the case. So you could have one or the other. So how do we go about fixing something like this? So you kind of have to pay attention to what's happening between the two switches. So it's kind of indicative when you have this side that will not do anything, you know that this is the side that there's a, there's a, something's being affected to. This is probably not where the problem is. It's probably not being sent power for it to be able to change states. Again, not always, there could be some weird stuff going on, but my feeling about this situation is that when I go to this side and I all of a sudden change it, now everything works over here. So I'm like, okay, this seems like it's fine. It's just that when this is sometimes doing something different, it's not okay. So my bet is that the problem is over here. So what I'm gonna do is first go turn the breaker off so that I can take this apart, look at it, see if it's something switched, put it back together and we'll see if it works. Now that the breaker's off, I'm gonna go to my leg side again. That's just where I've got a hunch. Using my handy dandy screw gun. I actually love this little thing because it's only one speed and it's just for taking screws out. It's so light, it's tiny, I can stick it in my pouch. Like, uh, you don't need this monster drill that you're carrying with you all the time. If I'm not like drilling into something, trying to pop holes or drill through masonry, I don't need a big clunky drill on me. I keep this little thing and I love it. Anytime that you take a device out, you don't wanna just like rip the thing out. You wanna look at it first and be like, okay, well I know there's nothing going weird, there's nothing like loose because sometimes loose terminations make things happen as well. And then you slowly, when you're troubleshooting, always very slowly pull everything out. It's not because you're gonna get electric here. I mean, you could, I guess, get shocked maybe, but you don't wanna change the state of whatever's happening. So you always wanna look around, very slowly take everything out. And once you realize, okay, me, me messing with this device is not gonna change the problem or change the state of the problem, and now I'm chasing a ghost, then I pull the whole thing out. So um, what I've got here is I've got one conductor going on a gold screw and I've got, well, I've got a red already on my black. So I know that there's something screwy there. A red's gonna be a traveler. The red's not gonna be a hot or a leg. Again, could be, depends on how somebody wired something, but already that's kind of like suspect. So I've got two black travelers and a red on my black screw. So how a three-way switch works is 
on the back side of this, you can kind of think of like a flapper in there. That's not how it works internally. It's like a, it's a different thing. But the way that I conceptualize it is I like to think that there's a piece of metal going across here when the switch is in one position. And when I switch that switch into another position, the flapper goes like this and goes boom and connects these two. So all a three-way switch is doing is just going boom, 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 boom. That's why we call this the common screw because this is the one that has everything in common. So when you switch it into any state, this one is always a part of the, the situation. These two are not, it's switching back and forth. Anyways, so another thing that we can look at is, well, this is a 14 gauge conductor. It's a lot, you know, like skinnier. These are 12 gauge conductors. So these are probably in the same 12-3 sheathing and therefore they should be travelers. So that's my, that's what I'm suspect of. The other thing is always look at the sheathing. So back here, I've got one black coming from one 14-2 and I've got two 12s, black and red, that are coming from a 12-3, same sheathing. Your travelers are always gonna be in the same sheathing. They should be, unless you have some kind of tricky, crazy, illegal three-way, dead-end three-way, Chicago three-way, like weird stuff. It could be weird stuff, but if you know that this house was wired by y'all and it's like present times and there's nothing weird, old 50s wiring, then it's probably that you just got these mixed up. So I know first and foremost, okay, I've got two travelers here. My two travelers should be my gold screws and my 14, should be the one that goes on my black screw because that's the switch leg. Your switch leg and your hot on both sides of a three-way, this is your hot side. Your hot is always gonna be on the black screw on this one and your switch leg going up to the light is always gonna be on your black side on this, this uh, device. So let's just switch these two around. Pretty confident that this is going to be the problem. I'm so confident in fact um, because I actually set this problem up myself. <laughs> so uh, I know this is gonna work. But I'm gonna act really super surprised for y'all. All right. Now, get it all magically put back in there. All right, now we're gonna turn our breaker back on. And before, this thing did nothing. Oh man, look at that. But what happens when we flip it into the other state? Well, it still comes on. It wasn't doing that before. So now everything works. No matter what, if you flip it on, you can flip it off here. If you flip it off, it actually comes on, but then you flip this one on. So you'll also notice with three-way switches, there is no on or off state. It's always changing. If you start in one end of the room and you come in and you the light's off, we'll say, and you flip it and you go to the other side and you flip it off and then you walk back through, notice it's completely changed now. So now when you flip it up, it's on. When you, and you just keep doing that. Now it's gonna go on. Now it's gonna go off. Well, not off, up. But uh, a lot of people are like, wait, 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 the switch is upside down. No, it's not. Three ways are always gonna change. If you continually go in one side and go back out the, uh, the same way, then they'll always stay like the same. But once you go in one side and out the other and then come back around, it's gonna keep like changing states, which is why none of the three way switches say on or off on them like a single pole switch does. There's definitely an off and definitely an on. So that's it. Hope that helps you out in the field. Stop wiring stuff backwards. Love you crazy people. See you in the next one.